Welcome to an overview of NWA's Focus EMI. Manufacturers are constantly looking for ways to improve plant efficiency and reduce the cost of goods sold. Many companies monitor real-time trend charts on the plant floor, but most tools only monitor one data source and are used only to notify operators when set specification or process limits are exceeded. This may help to avoid out-of-specification product, but does not provide the information needed for new process improvement. NWA's Focus CMI leverages real-time analytics to monitor key process parameters and quality indicators, while helping identify opportunities for process improvement. The software connects directly to existing data sources, creating a layer of analytics without copying the data into a separate database. Dashboards access the analytics layer to track changes in the plant's processes and product quality to provide real-time statistical alarming and visibility. The analysis can provide a wide range of user-defined dashboards that allow operators, plant managers, and corporate supervisors to have different views using the same data. For instance, operators would only see the data that affects the efficiency of the processes they are running, while supervisors may choose to see results by product or production line. Managers may choose to focus on KPIs tracking overall plant operations such as yield, energy use, and efficiency. Finally, corporate management and engineering can monitor the same KPIs by plant while also keeping track of specific issues. When alarms trigger, each user will see the metrics in their own context and all will be able to drill down into the specific analytics information they need to take action. The impact of the enterprise is dramatic. Focus EMI is helping many batch processes become more efficient as real-time analytics tell operators exactly when a startup process has been stabilized so they can produce acceptable product and when the process is showing signs of drifting during production so that intervention can be taken. This is helping to optimize manufacturing time, increase equipment utilization, and improve yields while reducing waste. Most companies that have implemented the system have immediately identified opportunities for improving processes and avoiding waste. This is frequently accomplished by early intervention when problems are just getting started, but also happen by reducing the temptation to adjust processes when they are running properly. In one example, the analytics identified a significant change in efficiency and waste. The real-time notification identified that the problem occurred during shift changes, while the ability to drill down into the metrics quickly identified the source and the analysis and reporting tools provided the data used during retraining. In another situation, a vice president of operations stated, I just want to keep the operator's hands off the dials. If the statistics say the process is in control, why touch something? Rules were implemented to guide operator actions based on analytics. The results were a dramatic reduction in operator-introduced variation caused by over-adjustment. The operators are now focusing their time on real problems that significantly affect quality and costs. The dashboards allow companies to focus attention on the most important parameters that affect plant operations, providing the context and additional information needed to know when to take the appropriate action. You may have an operator take action if a certain alarm violates an unusual pattern. Yet this may all happen well below the spec limits set by the company and might not have even been noticed with the existing trend chart tools. These are some of the ways NWA's Focus EMI leverages existing process information systems with real-time analytics to improve efficiency and reduce costs. Now Lloyd Colgrove from Dow Chemical will talk about the benefits they achieved when they implemented the system. Northwest Analytics Focus EMI is effectively a uh, data acquisition and analysis system that we can use not only in plant data, but we could start to tie it into supply chain data, uh, perhaps even into uh, commercial data. It's uh, not a system that is tied to any one given uh, operation or, or, or process control product. Uh, we uh, want the data systems to generate the data. We want the control systems to do the control. We simply want a, uh, a process that is uh, very good to go into these data systems and into these process control loops to take a look at the information that it's seeing and help us make sense for it. Uh, cobbling together a solution uh, based on uh, dashboard systems that are installed within individual um, uh, process or plant control type uh, uh, software uh, makes the complexity uh, much higher. 
It's, it's very cost effective because we're already generating the data. We're already spending the money on the infrastructure for the data. Why would we spend all that money and not look at the data in a new and better way? We're seeing situations now where we're able to go in and take a look at data with a, a broader uh, a skill set of people that would normally not be involved in the conversation and then getting them to the data and getting their thoughts and uh, direction to the operations much more quickly. And Focus EMI gets the data to them sooner and therefore you end up reducing the amount of time you spend struggling with the problem uh, to hopefully maybe even hours versus days or weeks. Not to mention the fact that we're now able to put uh, data from two operations uh, halfway around the planet side by side, look at how we're controlling and operating these units, and then starting to ask fundamental questions about why, if there is, why is there a difference? So on the plant level, uh, the, the return on investment is, it was immediate when we first turned it on. And uh, in terms of a dollar value, that's going to depend on how you value the mistakes you avoid.